And you will never position yourself to witness the wonderful things that God has for you if you're not faithful in the way of generosity. Again, this is not about you giving it to the church. I, I pray that you do. I also pray that generosity is a part of your life every single day and that you get to see the faithfulness of God in and through it. Man, people who give, I've heard consistent story after story of how God has been faithful to them, how God has provided at the last minute, how God has blessed them and gone beyond. God tells us in Malachi to test him in this and see when I open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. But some of us will never be able to leave that, live that verse out because we're holding on to everything. We're reservoirs instead of releasing it like a river. The final point is this, that generosity points you to Jesus. Your generosity points to Jesus. Paul ends chapter 15 by saying this, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. As he's talking about the wonderful gift that the Corinthians had given to make sure the Jerusalem church was taken care of, it reminded him of the gracious gift that had come from God. He said, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Here's the reality on generosity, that generosity points us back to Jesus and reminds us of the generosity and the grace and the care and compassion and love and saving power of Jesus Christ. When you give, you are never more like Jesus, but when you give, you get to see how faithful God is to you. Thanks be to God for the indescribable gift of Jesus Christ. Nothing we ever receive in life will never surpass blessing we have in being in a relationship with Jesus. We are generous because God was first generous to us.